we've been to a lot of amazing temples and seen a lot of amazing things on our trip, but I think this is the first one that makes me go like, wow. So guess what? We're still backpacking in North Thailand, this time in the mountainous province of Chiang Rai. This place is pretty interesting and a lot of fun. I don't even know what you are. You Spider-Man, Iron Man? But there was one place that I think we'd skip in the future. We're going to start here since this was our favorite stop in Chiang Rai. But let's recap how we got here first. We started the day by hopping on a bus headed to Chiang Rai. As a side sleeper, I love this travel pillow. We'll put a link to it in the description below. This bus ride was about three hours, so my travel pillow really came in handy. We've arrived, but we can't check in yet, so it's time to find a cafe. So it's about 10.30, we just arrived in Chiang Rai. The plan is to kind of find a coffee shop to walk and park at with all our stuff before we can check into our next place. How do you feel after carrying all the that? The thing about minutes? traveling slowly is we don't have to do that often. So when we do have to do it, it sucks. I don't know how you backpackers are carrying 70 liters. We have 40 liters on our bag. It's not even my clothes bag. It's my bag with like my work stuff in it that kills me, which I can't get rid of. So yeah, bins. It was a nice little gem of a coffee shop we found with some really good food. Here we ordered the beef curry plus Eskian coffee. Mm. Dang, that's really good. I haven't had beef curry this trip yet. Eskian, it's Thai style iced coffee. Delicious, my favorite. Not all places have it though, at least on the menu. to the hotel. We're back on the road again. We got all our stuff with us. Six minute walk to the hotel. New digs, $10 a night, $31 for three nights. Here it is, it's not bad, looks clean. That's all we need. Ugh. I'm gonna need a minute. Well, it's time to get out and explore Chiang Rai. We have a couple of things that we know we want to do over the next couple of days, but during the rest of the downtime, we're just gonna kind of explore. So that's what we're doing right now. Just gonna kind of walk around on foot. I also think we're gonna see if we can get some motorbikes for the next few days. We wandered around looking for motorbikes to rent until we finally found what felt like the last place in Chiang Rai that still had motorbikes left to rent, which probably explains why the cost was 300 baht per day. But these bikes will be key in getting us to the next few places. I don't think the camera can do justice just to how large this thing is in scale. It looks so cool and it's so massive. Look at that. She's often mistaken as a big Buddha, but this is actually Guan Yin. I'm so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. This is the goddess of mercy. We are here at 7 a.m. on a Monday right when it opened, and I will say this is prime time. It is absolutely beautiful. It's just starting to get a little bit hot for my taste, but definitely recommend coming here in the morning if you can. If you're up for it, you can climb the stairs right up to the goddess of Mercury. The view from the top is worth the journey as well. Nothing gets the sweat pouring like shooting a hyperlapse up all these stairs and realizing it doesn't look good, so you gotta do it again. <laughs> but this is such an amazing temple. Just down the road from a temple is without a doubt one of the most unique cafes that we've visited on our journey so far. If you stop by the temple, this cafe makes a great stop afterwards. Honey. It costs 60 baht to enter the garden, but you get a voucher to redeem that amount for food and drinks. This is called Lolita Cafe. I found it on TikTok. So we just wrapped up at the Goddess of Mercury Temple and Sarah found this place. It's like a fairy cafe. It's really cool. Like got waterfalls, mists, forests, fairy songs. <laughs> this is a wild place. We 
redeemed our vouchers at the cafe for a couple of coffees, fried rice, and pad Grappau before hitting the road again. We have made it to the Blue Temple. This place is actually really cool. It looks a little busy, so it is free. So we can come back at another time if it is too crowded. I think the Blue Temple is one of those like notable places you always see when you're looking at Chiang Rai on the internet. At least for me, this was like an instantly recognizable like, oh, that's in Chiang Rai. And it's really cool. I'm glad it's free, <laughs> to be honest. It's a little busy right now, so I'd recommend coming like right when it opens or right when it closes, but easy to get to, easy parking, doesn't cost anything. Yeah. After visiting the Blue Temple, we went back and relaxed a little bit before walking to the Night Bazaar. Welcome to the Chiang Rai Night Bazaar. It's a little sleepy and I just woke up from a nap, so I was hoping for a little more energy. This looks great. It looks like there's a lot of food options, but the uh, musician is a little somber right now. My assumption is that this is where everyone goes in Chiang Rai. All of the streets are pretty empty and it seems everyone has gathered here. So this is like the big food court area and then it looks like there is a shopping alley or a shopping street that we will check out next. At the night market, we got a couple of plates of pad thai and some orange juice. Ooh, this looks good, not gonna lie. Crispy pork is where it's at. I like that we came in through the food court first because we got to eat and now we can kind of walk it off. Nice. Walking back, we stopped briefly to admire some cute kittens. And the street art at the bus depot. But we had to call it a night because in the morning we were headed to Wat Ram Khan, the White Temple. A lot of the art at the White Temple takes the form of current events and recognizable characters. It's kind of fun seeing what you can spot there. So the artist, and I won't even bother butchering his name, sunk his own money into repairing the White Temple as it was in much needed state of repairs. The White Temple is not super busy, but it's busy enough that I think we're gonna come back in the morning. Okay, so this might not be one of those places that you can get to early and beat all the crowds. To be fair though, there are a lot less people here now than there were last night, so still get here early. To enter the temple, it costs 100 baht a person. The first kind of wild thing you see when walking to the main building of the White Temple is these hundreds of outreaching hands that are supposed to symbolize unrestrained desire. The bridge proclaims that the way to happiness is by foregoing temptation, greed, and desire. So the White Temple is nice, it's beautifully designed, it's a gorgeous place to visit, but it kind of feels like one of those places you go to to get your picture taken. Which is exactly what we're doing as well. Yeah. But I feel like with other temples, you can kind of get your photos and then like take some time and like take in the, the peacefulness and appreciate everything. Here, there's just a lot of people. There's a lot of stopping and kind of dodging everyone's photos. So um, if that's your vibe, great. If that's not something you want to encounter, then keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> so knowing a little bit about the history of the White Temple and how the artist funded his own money to repair and transform this place has made me appreciate it a lot more. The art here is beautiful. I honestly have nothing but good things to say about the temple itself. I just think the large crowds of people that get ushered through here makes it feel less like a temple and more like an art exhibit. Made a quick stop to Singhai Park. We're gonna try to get to a waterfall, but we have to return the bikes by 3 p.m. So we are a little crunched for time. Just wanted to show the park because this is a cool little statue. It's a little smaller than I thought it was, honestly. I thought it was a little bit bigger than this, but it's still a really cool thing. That's what she said. Oh, come on, this is a PG channel. Uh. 
if you do want to spend time at this park, there's a lot of other things here. It's a huge park. There's a petting zoo over there. I think there's zip lining somewhere around here. There's a lake with swans. You could spend a good chunk of time here if you wanted to. It kind of feels like we're paying homage to our favorite Thai beer. It's like a shrine. <laughs> it kind of looked like it from afar. I've done it. Won her over. Now she thinks everything is a Star Wars reference. We've Except done it. I called C3PO Lance yesterday. You did call C3PO Lance. Lance. And then you called Obi-Wan Kenobi Space Man. Space Man. <laughs> Small victories, we're working our way there. And although they aren't stormtroopers, these statues are pretty hilarious. Okay, we're taking one more detour before we make our way to the waterfall. Well, we needed a place to grab food before we headed to the waterfall because last time we went to the waterfall, we didn't eat and I was famished. And I think this one has even more walking. So I looked on maps and typed in breakfast and came up with Canary Cafe. And it turns out it is very beautiful. It's right on this lovely little like river. The grounds are gorgeous and we'll see how the food is. We aren't doing our budget any favors by finding these places like this either. <laughs> Here's what I meant by that. We got two coffees to start. Sarah got the fried egg with bacon benedict oh, and a vegan yeah. sausage. And I got the homemade honey toast with berry sauce. The food was good, but it was pricey. Our total here was 560 baht, but I guess you kind of pay for the views too. <laughs> I love it. Okay, back on the road again because we're running out of time. Whew. That was a nice drive. That was, it was really pretty. Like driving through the jungle. Well, we did drive through the jungle. Guess we gotta walk the rest of the way. Shouldn't be too far of a walk. I don't know if this counts as the hike. Or just yell. You good? What? Oh, it's my sh <laughs> You thought I was a bug? Yeah, I was like swatting and then I thought it was like a hair, but oh my god. <laughs> we just started. Start in and kind of make our way up to the waterfall. Oh, okay. First time we've seen a warning for snakes, let alone pit vipers. So they do like to hang out in the trees though. So we got to look out for the ground and above us. Another shameless plug about my shirt, see? Got to put on bug spray, but it's got a built-in hoodie. So I can keep the bugs off the back of my neck and out of my ears and a little bit out of my face. So not really bothering me too much right now, but it's good too, because it's lightweight, it's thin and it's long sleeve. So I can beat the heat and beat the bugs. Kettle Mountain Apparel. Should send that to them as our new slogan. Beat the heat and beat the bugs. This isn't that bad of a hike, but it's all uphill. So you can see the sweat starting to pour off my face now, but I think we're almost there. Sarah said we've been walking for about 30 minutes and I can hear the waterfall. Oh, I think I see it. Found it. Ah, oh, it's windy. Oh, you feel the force of that waterfall, man. With it being slightly more difficult to get to, you often get the falls to yourself before more people show up. If you're willing to have a little patience, you might get a few windows of where you're the only one at the waterfall. We can finally say we went to an epic waterfall, but <laughs> we are soaking wet. So it's time to head out of here. We're gonna hike back down 
about 30 minutes and then dry off and then head back because we gotta return the bikes. I have some thoughts about Chiang Rai I want to share, but first, 7-Eleven. Chiang Rai is a little slower pace, which we don't mind at all, and it's super affordable for such a beautiful province. We didn't love our experience at the White Temple, but don't let that deter you from coming here. Sarah and I both agree that we would return here for another visit anytime. Back at it with all our stuff. I don't want to say back at it, because that's travel spree's thing. Shout out. Shout out, travel spree. Make it. So wet, naked, so wet. Shake it like a doctor. <laughs>